You are watching the Gospel Hour, a ministry of Gospel of Christ Baptist Church, located at Talamban, Cebu City, Philippines. We take you now to the pulpit as we faithfully proclaim the Gospel of Christ. Not forsaking the assemblings of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another and so much the more. Amen. This is more. This is much more. This is so much the more. In behalf of New Life Bible Baptist Church in Santa Cruz, with our senior pastor, Pastor Higinio Totong Suficencia, we prayed for this event. We prayed for your Youth Sunday. Uh, Ma'am Leia would like to send his regards to Ma'am Neng. Pastor, yeah. I heard of a rumor that Cebu City, particularly Talamban, is a place where you can find the strongest, the mightiest, the macho, firm, guapo men in Cebu. Whew. I also heard a rumor that Cebu City is a place where you can see and you can find the sweetest, sexiest, and tallest buildings in Cebu. I was glad when he said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Turn your Bibles to John chapter 18. It's preaching time. Delete normal ang face name, Pastor Frank. Since two years. Almost two years, Pastor. Yeah. Nice smile. Nga murag na kasi ang lahi ba. If pa pitchon ko sa maong uh, kasal, while I'm praying, ako ay uh, sum up sila sa duha ka words. This is from the heart. This is for the both of Pastor Frank and Japaya. Is she here? No. Just two words. Sana all. <laughs> Verse number 28 of John chapter number 18. Then led they Jesus from Caiaphas unto the hall of judgment, and it was early. And they themselves went not into the judgment hall, lest they should be defiled but that they might eat the Passover. Pilate went out unto them and said, What accusation bring ye against this man? They answered and said unto him, If, I were not a, if he were not a malefactor, we would not have him delivered up unto thee. Then said Pilate unto them, Take ye him and judge him according to your law. And the Jews therefore said unto him, It is not lawful for us to put any man to death, that the saying of Jesus might be fulfilled, which he spake, signifying what death he should die. John 18, verse number 33. Then Pilate entered into the judgment hall again, and called Jesus, and said unto him, Art thou the king of the Jews? Jesus answered him, sayest, Thou this thing of thyself, or did others tell it of, the, of me? Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Then thine own nation and the chief priests have delivered thee unto me. What hast thou done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight, that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence. Pilate therefore said unto him, Art thou a king then? Jesus answered, Thou sayest that I am a king to this end, was I born. And for this cause I in the world 
that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. And Pilate saith unto him, What is truth? What is truth? And when he said this, he went out again unto the Jews, and saith unto them, I find in him no fault at all. For a few minutes, hantod kita, nga mahuman, sa kining time nga alatid, in which ang ginoo makipag-istorya sa ito, ah, let, me ha- let us have this message, I'm glad that I know the truth. I'm glad that I know the truth. Every head bowed, every eye closed as we go to the Lord in prayer. Lord, we had come recognizing, Lord God, the weakness of the flesh and the frailty of our memory, Lord God, in which nga mo akinig ihatag dira tanan kanimo Lord. O ganit man sa mao nga mo ang mensahe, inaot pa nga ikaw ang makapag-istorya. O bisan pa man, Lord God, ang kinatibukan ng ang amo pagampo, nga sa gihapon, ikaw, Lord God, ang mapataliwala. O ganit man, Lord God, nga ikaw unta, maugyod ang mapasidunggan. Help us to be careful, Lord, that we can give you back all the glory, the praise, and the honor. Speak to us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Of all the places in the world where you would expect to find a truth, it would be in a court of law. Court is where many things are decided. Sometimes, the court, it considers the truth in order to decide in which custody the children will be delivered. The custody of the kids. It considers the truth behind the pain and suffering in the event of an injury. It also considers the truth of someone's liability in an accidental death. And the truth if someone is guilty or not in a crime that he has been committed. The irony of this whole system, this court of law, sometimes considered to be the best in this world, is dependent on a natural born liars to tell the truth. Here in this passage of scripture, right after the dark betrayal of the Garden of Gethsemane, they brought the lovingly Lord Jesus Christ bounded to Caiaphas. He is bounded that is will be interrogated by Annas who gives counsel to the Jews in verse number 13 and 14. There, in that earthly courtroom, the heaven's darling was prosecuted. The case, he claims, to be a king. The judge, Pilate. The prosecutors, Caiaphas, the high priest. By the way, Caiaphas means depression. The witness for the defendant, there were none. The witness for the prosecution, the people, in verse number 30. The verdict, no fault. Verse number 38, Pilate said, I find no fault in him at all. The sentence, death. By the way, no fault means not guilty. But here, in John chapter number 18, we can see in verses number 1 to 2, the arranged betrayal of Judas. In verses 2, we can see the arrest of Jesus Christ. We can see in verse number 10, the attack of Peter to Malchus. In verses number 13, we can see Annas. Jesus is brought to Annas. In verse number 29, he, Jesus, he, there is that accusation against the lovingly Lord Jesus Christ. But here, in verses 33 down to verses number 38, we can see the askings of Pilate and the answer of Jesus Christ. But in the midst of these interrogations, Pilate asked Jesus Christ in verse number 38, What is truth? Unsa ang tinood? You see, John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Jesus Christ is the truth. So he came to bear witness to himself. Hear that, O Pilate. Paminawan, What is truth? Truth is absolute. That means it is fixed. That means immovable. It means this is why the Bible is still relevant to this very day. 
it will transcend cultures, generations, and empires. Truth is biblical. Truth is inconsiderate of your opinion, what you might say or what you will not say. Truth will remain truth. Truth here is incompatible with moral relativism. Oh, bisagunsang imong moralidad, ang tinood magpabilin yod o tinood. Truth is something that is preserved. It surpasses generations. It will not decay. People decay. But truth will never decay. It is more than I want in comfort. It is more than convenience. It is more than tradition. It is more to be desired than happiness. It is more to be desired than pleasures of the normality. It is more to be desired than a worldly success, than an entertainment, an accolades, a satisfaction, prosperity. Can I say that We want truth. Truth is the way to heaven. What is truth? Truth is base. Truth is the base on which the constitution of a nation must be formed. Truth is what makes a code of morality possible. Truth is the power by which to live. Truth is the only rule that God gives us. And truth is most precious here in 1 Corinthians 13, verse number 6. Rejoice it not in equity, but rejoice it in the truth. 2 Corinthians 13, verse number 8. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. Galatians 5 and verse number 7. Ye did run well, who did hinder you that ye should not obey the truth? What's that? Nakababag ka ni mo? Is it yourself? Is it something ay mo ang gi pa bili more than God, more than Jesus Christ, more than the truth? First Timothy two four, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. Second Thessalonians two and verses number nine. Verse ten, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. John fourteen six, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus is the way. John sixteen and verse number thirteen, Jesus is calling the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, in which He said, when He The Spirit of Truth is come. Can I say there is a second coming? Ayo ka ayo enjoy sa imo TikTok. Labi na Kristo anong ka? Mubalik si Jesus Christ. Hello. Walay problema ang TikTok. Usay lang ang sensuality nga naa sa TikTok. The flesh that is revealed in TikTok. When He, the Spirit of Truth, is come, He will guide you in all truth. We can see that God, our sovereign, is truth. Jesus Christ, the Savior, is truth. The Scriptures are truth, and the Holy Spirit is truth. David said in Psalms 25 and verse number 25, "Lead me in thy truth." Psalm 86 and verse number 11, "Teach me thy way, O Lord; I will walk in thy truth." Psalm 105, verses number five. The Lord is good; His mercy is everlasting, and His truth endureth to all generations. We learn in Proverbs 16 and verses number six: By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. In the book of Third John, one verse four, I have great, I have no greater joy. Than to hear that my children walk in truth, so we can, so we see that we can know the truth and we can walk in the truth. Are you walking in the truth? Are you abiding in Christ? Are you abiding in the truth, the Scriptures? Are you in lahi na ang truth nga dere? Sorry, Pastor Aki, nag-Sunday school ko ba niya? Napagaw. Oo. Oh. Ganina. 
Now quickly, here are some truths that we Christians and young Christians must know and rejoice that we know. I'm glad that I know the truth. Number one, quickly, I'm glad that I know the truth about myself. By the way, dako kaayo na nga confidence, dako kaayo na nga comfort, ang ikahatag kung imuhang madawat ang imuhang kaugalingon. Dako kaayo na nga comfort kung imuhang madawat ang imong ilong. Dako kaayo na nga comfort kung imong madawat ang imuhang pagkatao. Dako kaayo na nga comfort kung imuhang madawat ang imuhang kilay. By the way, na ay gitawag na ito nga pag-adorn sa so usang kababahe in which they mag-kuha sila o make-up. And that's good. They make themselves presentable. And can I say, Pastor Frank, nga na ay make-up nga maingon na ito, escape from reality. <laughs> Boys, mauna na ang color sa imubuhok. Dawa tayo imubuhok. The truth about ourselves. John 8. 44, ye are your father, the devil. And the last of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Can I say a truth about yourself? You, ye are your father, the devil. I'm glad that I know the truth that I am a sinner by birth. That means that you are a sinner by nature. That means that you are a sinner by habit. That means, and it will bring us to the conclusions that you became a sinner sometimes by choice. We sin not because we are a sinner. But because we were born sinners. The shocking truth about ourselves, we are a sinner. We are not good. We are vain in our very best. We are evil. We are an evil thinker. We are wicked. We are filthy. We are ungodly. We are lawbreaker. Kung siya pasabot sa lawbreaker, ingon si mama, alas 6, mauli, alas 8, ni uli. Lawbreaker. We lie. We are lost. We are without hope. We are without God. We are a child of the devil. We are God's enemy. We are under God's wrath. We are condemned. And Luke 16, verses number 22, we are going to hell. Can I say that I'm still glad about myself? Why? Why is that? Because, number two, I am glad that I know the truth about salvation. Oh, yes, tinood niya magkasalata. Amen. But God commended His love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than being now justified by His blood, we shall be saved from the wrath through Him, through Jesus Christ, through the truth. Acts 16 and verse number 31. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shall be saved. Can I say that your salvation that you know, salvation nga imuha na kuha, salvation nga imuha na receive from Jesus Christ, it's not just for today, it not, it's not just for Youth Sunday, but it is for eternity. John 10, 28. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Acts 4, verse number 12. Neither is there any salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven that is giving among name, whereby we must be saved. Kibuloy. Dile. 
Jesus Christ. In Christ, I, I am glad that I know my salvation. I'm glad that I know the truth about salvation. In Christ, I am a redeemed saint. In Christ, I am a citizen of heaven. In Christ, I am a good soldier of Jesus Christ. By the way, young people, the Christianity is not a playground. It is a battlefield. Run if you want to, run if you will, but I came here to stay. When I fall down, I'm gonna get right up because I didn't start out to play. It's a battlefield, brother, not a recreation room. It's a fight and not a game. Run if you want to, run if you will, but I came here to stay. Christianity is not a recreation game. It is a battlefield. The battle is real. The enemy is real. Christianity is a battlefield. But can I say in Christ, we are a good soldier in Jesus Christ. We are a soul that is not condemned. A soul that is peace in God. We are a righteous soul through Jesus Christ before God. A believer that is washed from all sin. A redeemed soul with joy. I'm glad that I know the truth about salvation. Number three, I'm glad that I know the truth of the scripture. Hebrews 4 in verse number 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and even in the joints and marrow, and is the discerner, a discerner of thoughts and the very intents of the heart. See, we can keep the Bible as we read the Bible, it reads us. Samtang ikaw nagabasa sa Bible, ikaw usahay ang gibasa sa Bible. Can I say nga na ay mo sa likway sa maong Biblia tungod kay nagsulti kung unsa sila? It tells something that they don't want because they see themselves. By the way, ang atheist, usahay, dili mo toho tungod sa lack of evidences. Na evidence? Pastor Frank? The gun? The gun? But to sahay, di sila mutuo kay base kung saan niya resulta kung mutuo sila. Kay kung mutuo sila sa Biblia o sa ginoo, mapailaw man man sila o otoridad. Yang ilahang kaugalingon kay my man, my way, myself, I do it my way. Ano man? Meaning, dili tungod sa lack of evidence, but tungod sa ka-advance sa ilang una-una. Moingon sila nga, ah, dili ko anong Biblia, kay mapailaw man man sila. Ilang i-question ang evidences, nga mo ano dili, pero di nila mapahalingwala. Tungod na di ay sa ilahang may. Ano man, di sila ganahan authority. Hello? Di ganahan og law. I'm glad, 2 Timothy 3.16, that I know the truth of the scripture and all scripture is inspired. Hello? All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction and instruction in righteousness. It's not just the scripture is inspired, but the scriptures are perfect. That means na kita dili perfect but ang scripture perfect by the way na ay gagawa sa kalibutan ron nga justification kung unsa man gani ang mga abominations nga mahimo ang mao nga line mao ni i'm not perfect dili mo ko perfecto mo nang makasayop yug ko nya usbon oh dili tungod kay dili siya perfecto kada isay tinuod nga dili ta perfecto Pero himuon talaga ang rason nga muduol ta sa perpekto nga ginoo. O sa perpekto 
nga pulong sa Ginoo. The scripture is inspired. The scripture is perfect and the scriptures are pure. Psalm 12 verse number 6. The word the words of the Lord are pure words. The scripture is not just perfect, pure, but can I say the scriptures are preserved. We can see it today. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord. Thou shalt preserve them from these generations forever. Ang pulong sa ginoo di mausab. Ang atong feelings, usay mausab. Ganaan mo simba. Usay, dili ganaan mo simba. Pero ang pulong sa ginoo di mausab. Ang faithfulness sa ginoo di mausab. Ang kamaturan, the truth of the scripture will never be changed. Young peoples, As Charles Spurgeon said, the Bible will keep you away from sin or your sin will keep you away from the Bible. Kung say pasabot ana Brother Stephen, tungod sa sige ni mong paduol sa maong nga Biblia, magpalayo ka na ni mo sa sala. Pero sa ay tungod kay imuhang gipadul ang sala, mao nang malayo ka sa Biblia. Ang Biblia ni mo mura nagngilngig kayo tan-awon, nga mura bitog milagroso na kayo nga mura sagrado na kayo nga di na ni mo duolon. Mm. Young peoples, church will keep you away from this world or this world will keep you away from this church. I was glad when he said unto me, let us go to gospel of Christ, Baptist church. Not just that I'm glad that I know the truth of the scripture, but number four, I'm glad that I know the truth about the second coming. By the way, mubalik si Jesus Christ. Kasi MacArthur Nengon, I shall return. Si Jesus Christ, mubalik. Hello? Hindi na dapat na ako, tas on ako, Sultiani, because your topic a while ago was second coming, right? Oo. Humano mo? But John 14, verses number 1 to 3. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. I will come again and receive you unto myself. And that where I am, there ye may be also. You see, the rapture is a promise that is made by Jesus Christ himself. Dili si President Duterte mo yung nag-promise. Si Jesus Christ. Siya mo balik. Siya yung ni-promise. Jesus will return in the rapture to take the church out of this world before He will reign His judgment. We believe in the pre-tribulation rapture of the saints and of the church. Before God will reign its judgment, kung imuha mabantayan throughout the scripture, He will always deliver His own people first. Before God will reign His judgment, He will always deliver His people first. Before God will reign His judgment, He will deliver His people first. It was during the times of Noah Before he rained the earth and flooded the earth, he said to Noah through the ark, Come in. There's that call. Come in. It was the time of Lot before he rained fire on Sodom of Gomorrah, in which he said to Lot and his family and wife, Come out. By the way, kung inyo nabantayan, before i-atakihon sa sundalo ang maong anasod, kung ito i-butang sa United States of America, before niya bombahan ang Iraq, atong panimalo sa World Trade Center, Pastor Frank, before niya i-rain ang maong atak, papaulion sa niya ang iyang kaugalingon ng troops. Hello? Kung nakadawa mo ang generals, before ni mo i-send ang maong mga rockets dito sa maong territory, imuas ang papaulion ng imong mga equipments. Ang siya pasabot, anak, come home. Ako nang isend ang judgment, come home. But this time, in the closing age of the church age, 
God, together with the saints, we will be raptured. God will say, come up. Come up. By the way, young peoples, you must glad and be glad that you know about yourself. You must be glad that you know the truth about salvation. You must be glad that you know the truth about the scripture. And you must be glad that you know the truth about the second coming. Young peoples, you don't have to be like Pilate. You can know the truth. The truth will set you free. You can know the truth about yourself. You can know the truth about your salvation. And you can know the truth about the scripture. And you can know the truth about second coming. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Pastor Frank. Thank you for watching the Gospel Hour. Please contact us via Facebook if we could be a help to you in your spiritual journey. In the world full of darkness, the power of the gospel shines through.